Welcome to Deep Dive, man. This is a fun time for us to get together and just talk about what's going on. We got an overview of life groups this week. We have, oh, we have rally day coming this week. We have all the picnic stuff, and we just, uh, we're looking forward to what God has for us this weekend as we are celebrating 20 years after 9 11. So, Adam, we've yeah. got a couple things starting in the next couple weeks. Kind of give us an overview of what is happening in these in these weeks ahead. Yeah, this is kind of the um, unofficial kickoff to mm -hmm. like fall ministries. You know, after summer, everybody comes comes back mm -hmm. and we get moving again uh, in some you know consistency. Mm -hmm. So uh, this Sunday is is Rally Day Sunday, which means um, Sunday morning at the end of the first service, um, like it almost looked like a uh, uh, add on to the first service. We're gonna just spend a a, a brief moment, kind of celebrating and praying for the uh life groups and the life studies coming up and the um the children that are moving into first and third grade and youth group and just kind of celebrate them just a little bit just a brief time to kind of get excited about what's happening here at the end of the first service so if you want to be a part of that uh you might want to come a little early to life group time and come poke your head in at the end of the service uh that evening we also have a picnic at the northampton park uh four o'clock starts all the fun uh right we have yeah, uh that's gonna be fun we're trying to get a softball game together uh if we have enough kids we'll do kickball we have an inflatable obstacle course um there's a playground there so just come and that's a good time to hang out and just have some fun with other families and other people in the church uh five o'clock will be the dinner and then at 5 45 we'll have a brief service um just kind of launching again um the you know the fall ministries the whole the whole idea behind rally day is just to come together and spend time together but also one thing i saw a uh, year before last uh, when we had our last rally day uh, there were a lot of people who brought their friends and their kids and just we all had a great time together that softball game is really laid back it's a lot of fun and uh, we look forward to hanging out with the championship softball team lower division Lehigh Valley Church Softball League. Uh, but we're excited Thank you about for that. throwing lower hey, division in there. I don't want yeah. people to get a, yeah. the wrong idea. Well, we're trying to keep ourselves the, humble. The key word is authenticity, right? Like, we exactly. got to be authentic in all that we exactly. are. Exactly. <laughs> but that's going to be going on. There's going to be other stuff going on, too, like Adam said. And at 5 o'clock, we'll start eating. If you'd like to help with getting things ready, you know, the, there's always something for you to do as we uh, spend time together. So do not miss that night. It's a lot of fun. And uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you in them there. It's going to be a good time. All right. So um, Sunday night, the 19th, kicks off our Sunday evening ministries. Uh, we're just going to promote a little bit, kind of kind of talk briefly about what, uh, what your options are on Sunday night. And um, we, we have a few different ways for you to get involved. Um, the first one that I have on my list is Reasonable Faith. Um, and there, that's that's Pat's right, Pat mm -hmm. Mack. Okay, Pat Mack. Pat Mack is the leader of that one. So if you have any questions, contact him. But the reasonable faith is is walking through a book called Simply Christian uh, by N. T. Wright, and it's it's why Christianity makes sense. Um, and, and they're gonna be talking just through that book, you know, looking through why you know the things of our faith are 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 logical to believe. <laughs> well, you can't go wrong with N. T. Wright. Right. And um, Pat, I had a chance to talk to Pat about the study the other day. He's really excited about it. It was a book that was recommended to him. He read it, just really challenged mm -hmm. him. So that would be a good use of your time if you're not involved in something on Sunday night. Then we have a practical Bible application, which is Call Ringer, right? Mm -hmm. And they're going to be lo uh, looking at a book called uh, Living Above the Level of Mediocrity by uh, Charles Swindoll. And uh, he kind of tackles in that book, uh, he tackles the difficult problems of discipline and laziness uh, and our accept our, our willingness to kind of accept the easy path. So then we have Wedge. When and you want to talk a little bit about what your wife's doing in Wedge? Well, we have two. Well, Wedge and Fred have two right now media studies. They're about 10, 10 minute clips, and we decided to focus on two of Paul's epistles. The ladies and Wedge are going to focus on First Corinthians, mm -hmm. and uh, just an amazing study. The study guide's worth the price of admission. It's a it's a very thorough study. The guide price for admission, by the way, is free. I think it so. Is, I yeah, don't want to. It is free. <laughs> Uh, well, we could have done something there. I mean, we could have uh, pizza night or something. I yeah, don't know. really. And then Acts, we we're doing Acts um, in frat with a guy named Louis Giglio. Brand new study, literally dropped um, at the end of August. And uh, just walking through, uh, Acts is, you know, the book that really presents, the. it, it is the beginning of the church. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to walk through that. So we have some really good studies in those ministries. So there's a good... Um, you know, we have other life studies that happen on Thursday with Bible study and the men, women's mm -hmm. stuff on Tuesday. There's places to get plugged in. 
We really want you in a life group if possible, but we also would like you to consider maybe a life study, getting in a smaller group. Well, that's another thing. We didn't we didn't go through and talk to all the life group leaders, but on Sunday mornings at uh, the 10 a.m. hour is is our life groups for all the different age groups in the church, and that's a great time to get plugged in and. and it operates like a small group. You know, they check in on each other, they pray for each other, they walk through some some sort of Bible study, and it's a great time to help deepen your connection to God and to other people. So it, it, Sunday night, Sunday morning, uh, the the goal is to get involved mm -hmm. and and to help, you know, create that as you said from rows of circles. It helps us get connected with other people mm -hmm. and uh, help dive into our faith with other people. They're and they're all really good <clears throat> Bible study teachers. Yeah, yeah. And they have, there's a lot of you know. Whatever class you're in, you get a lot of access to some good teaching. Yeah, uh, we have a couple of things for children and youth as well. On Sunday evenings, we're um, we're launching Kingdom Kids Sunday nights. We, we're not doing Awanas this year. Uh, we talked to the leadership team and just felt we should try a different option um, with just kind of the transition and see how this works. So we're just doing Kingdom Kids Sunday nights. It's going to have a VBS feel to it. Kind of that's the best way I can describe it. Where we have a lesson, we have uh, an activity, we have like a rotation, small group time, uh, VBS or youth group light, like something like that is kind of the feel. Uh, but we're starting off on the 19th with a series called Blast Off, and it's a four-week series looking at spiritual disciplines um, that we can help develop in, in children. And, you know, if we say for children, but they, they apply to us too. It's, you know, we can spend time with God. We can, uh, people can help us grow in our faith. Others can help us grow in our faith. We can share God's story and we can serve others. And then um, when youth group, uh, the youth group kids on Wednesday night, we're not, we don't have anything lined up yet on Sunday nights. I'm still working on that. I'd like to, uh, we just don't have the leaders right now to do so. So on Wednesday night for youth group, we're going to be looking at um, a concept called shape. It, it's a book written by Doug Fields called Congratulations, You're Gifted. But what I'm doing is I'm turning it into how we all have spiritual gifts. We have, um, a heart for certain things and uh, natural abilities, a personality and experiences and all those things come together to make us uniquely shaped to, to do what God wants us to do. You know, Ephesians 2.10, you are God's, you are uh, God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus for good works and helping us understand how each one of us is wired differently. We, we exemplify that very well. <laughs> yeah, we are very different. <laughs> but how each different. one of us is on, is wired a little bit differently. Uh, and that's a good thing because God can use us each differently in different ways um, to make a difference for his kingdom. So we're trying to get the kids excited about uh, getting involved and where they fit in the you body know, of Christ. that word workmanship, and it, it means masterpiece. And if you have a teenager and as they deal with all these things flying around them, self-worth and all these things they're dealing with as they, as they grow into an adult, you know, being able to be reminded every week that you are God's masterpiece. Yeah. Is a, is a great way for them to spend their fall. So take advantage if you have a if you have a kid's youth group age, get them here on Wednesday night so they can learn more about how God has created them as a masterpiece. And then, um, is it the 12th or the 19th you're starting your next series? Oh, it's starting this weekend. Oh, sorry, this, all right, this weekend. This weekend. Uh, Pastor Chuck is uh, starting a new uh, sermon series. Why don't you just tell us a little bit about what you're feeling led to take, uh, take the church through uh, this fall? Well, you know, this weekend when 9-11 hit and, you know, there, there's a lot of hopelessness, and that's been a theme for the last two years we've been dealing with. Um, but as I sat down to start seeking the Lord over the last week or so, just thinking through, um, the word courage came to mind. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, courage, name me a serious courage. I was like, you know, there, there's there got to be something, you know, God, what are we looking for? And I, I came upon the word audacious. And the definition of audacious is extremely bold or daring, recklessly brave. And this weekend, especially when we look back 20 years to 9-11, um, you know, there were some people who were so brave. And it's, it's a story that we will never forget. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, as we walk, and, and I've been dealing with a lot of people, talking to them, a lot of hopelessness. Um, so how do we have audacious hope? That's the first week. Audacious we're going to work hope. through audacious hope. We're going to work through audacious love, peace, and joy. And just, we need a month where we get to see God's amazing strength and the courage he gives us. And just spending four weeks to really dive into some, we're going to be all over scripture, diving into some places that I pray just encourages you and gets you geared up for the rest of the mm -hmm. fall. As we just continue to engage crisis after crisis after crisis, but as the body of Christ, we don't we we can we can be brave, we can be courageous in these moments. And I really believe it's a kingdom opportunity. Mm -hmm. Every time something drops, 
that uh, if we're audacious and if we're we're bold and we're daring and we we you know we take risks for the kingdom, uh, God shows up in those moments. Yeah, God <laughs> God shows up through obedience, and, and a lot of times those things you talked about don't make sense to have those emotions in mm-hmm. times of hopelessness, in times of doubt, in times of panic. So that that'll be that'll be a good series. Looking forward to that. I mean, I could have retitled this week, um, you know, audacious worship. You know, and that's where it's going to start. So make worship a priority this fall as we get ready to gear up and walk into a fall. We don't have any idea what's going to happen, but we do know that God is in control. Yeah. So we have, uh, that's just a quick run through of what is coming up here this fall. There are uh, many ways for you to get involved or engage in uh, different things. Um, the men's Bible study on Thursdays has a Zoom option. Mm-hmm. Some of these groups will have that. Some of these, you know, prayer in online on, in person. We have the, uh, you know, service streamed online. So th- there are ways to get in- connected. Mm-hmm. And, and um, you know, we, we encourage you to take opportunity to find a way to get in- connected and, and to dive into Scripture with people and just encourage each other and help hold us accountable and help us, you know, travel through this next season together. So, so, so this week, here's a challenge for them this week. This week... Go to YouTube or get on the website, get the address and say, you know, there's a person that needs to hear the message from this last week that's in my life. Send it to them. Maybe encourage people to subscribe to the YouTube channel so that they can kind of get they can get that stuff in their inbox every week. And if you haven't subscribed yet, get it done so you can get all the material that's coming out. Deep Dive works that way, too. I'm um, getting it in your inbox. So God bless you. Have a great week. We look forward to seeing them this weekend. Yeah, we'll see you this weekend.